Nobody wants these scripted, catchphrase-ridden promos, and that's what's being written for her, and that's what she's reciting. I'm not saying that Jennifer Pepperman needs to be fired. Like there's, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of great things that she could do, but writing 19, 2019 WWE promos for Mercedes to spout out on AW television is not one of those things. Brian. Along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. Wrestling Big Vinny D here for another exciting edition of the Not Brian and Vinny Show. So it's me and Craig. Hi. Craig is the other people tonight. The evil, evil 21-year-old hot blonde has a teddy bear on her <laughs> left arm. Nothing says evil like teddy bears. Also, Johnny Hungy and Layla Hirsch, if they were ever to procreate... They'd be the shortest, thickest human being ever on the planet. AEW needs its big guys to be more selfish. We need stars to act like stars and beat up the guys who are not stars. Because Jay White's coming off like just another guy here. If you're going to elevate people and you're going to make stars, people need to lose and they need to lose decisively. And somewhere that's gotten lost in the last couple of years with AEW. Kyle Fletcher has lost seven of his last nine AW matches. They were trios and tag matches, but the names he beat, Hunter Gray, Paul Titan, who? Ja C, Kit Sackett, and <laughs> Rennie D. I'm not making any of those up. If Roderick Strong was going to win here anyway, yes. why do you not make a match for the belt here on Battle of the Belts? 100%. But they did a non-title match, the champion won anyway. Whatever. <laughs> F4WOnline.com slash Vegas. If you are going to double or nothing, add this to the docket. Do not miss out. <coughs> Granny, what's happening? You all right over there, Granny? I'm okay. Somebody sent me $1 through PayPal. And the message with the $1 simply said, you suck. Letter U <laughs> suck. At Vincent Verhey one on PayPal, you too can tell me I suck for the low, low price of just one dollar. You know, this fucker Sam right here is trying to claim that I, I fake drinking that absinthe every year. That's not true. Thank you, Sean. I Thank poured you. it. Yeah. When we get Sam out here for the Christmas show, we'll see if he can suck down some of that absinthe. Last week, you insisted you saw a WrestleMania that was not the proper WrestleMania. I never saw Rock once. I never saw him once, not on the one I watched. The viewers believe that you turned on Peacock and actually watched a replay of last year's WrestleMania. Oh, and Roman won. Yes. Wow. Oh, well. It's over. Ring name? Al Navarro. Bio. You may want to sit down, everybody. Al Navarro was an American professional wrestler. End of bio. <laughs> that is his entire page. <laughs> Al Navarro was an American professional wrestler. John Mosley comes out for a promo, carrying the IWGP World Heavyweight title. What the fuck's a guy going to talk about? He has no match for the pay-per-view. He had uh, nothing to say. But goddamn, nobody says nothing better than John Moxley. There you go. He was fucking great. What did you think of this promo? Terrible, right? Uh, at least it was short. They need to get this Jennifer Pepperman away from her. You cannot walk into AEW and essentially do the same shit from 2019 that everybody hated. Nobody wants these scripted, generic, catchphrase-ridden promos. I'm not saying that Jennifer Pepperman needs to be fired. Like there's, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of great things that she could do. But writing 19, 2019 WWE promos for Mercedes to spout out on AEW television is not one of those things. She needs to go out there and she needs to be herself. Not some character that she's playing here. She needs to be herself. And she's not right now. And it's it just sticks out like a sore thumb on this show. The highlight was uh, Matthew Jackson doing his own commentary. I knew you were going to say that. I bring it up because Lance on the show today, that was his breaking point where he could no longer watch this match. That's not a match for Lance. As soon as Matt did commentary. But it's like, it's just a it's just a, a heel thing. I didn't I didn't mind at all. This this idiot heel yes. decided, I'm going to cut a fucking promo in the ring while I'm beating this guy's ass. And then he got lifted up with the mic, screamed and got slammed. Put me down, put me and down. And he was foiled. Yeah. I liked it. 
Will Osprey versus Claudio Castagnoli. If you like watching big, freaky athletes do big, freaky athletic things, have I got a match for you? This is a dream match. And we just got it on TV. I think they, they had announced it, but yes, this also felt like it should have been a much bigger deal. Yeah, this should have been built up as like, my God, Will fucking Osprey and Claudio Castagnoli. Because they are perfect opponents. They really are, actually. They're absolutely perfect. That said, Osprey comes out here and has incredible matches every week and just barely wins. It's time for him to s- destroy somebody. He needs to be Goldberg, Ariel Goldberg for a while. And there's a dozen guys below him. He takes them all out with a stomp. He steps on guys somehow and falls off there and lands on his feet. He leaped off the post and stomped people that were standing upright on their heads. This was batshit crazy. Tatum packs the video. It's very artsy with footage of young children running around. It's so 2020. It's this creepy shit. Well, I mean, it's not supernatural. She doesn't have magic powers. Well, no, but it's a creepy shit where, like, she has to slither around the ring. Yeah. And we're supposed to be scared. Yeah. Which led to the funniest moment in the show where she does some slithering. And Vic goes, Booker, that doesn't creep you out? And Booker's like, hell no. This is why Booker's the best. <laughs> like, what the fuck would that scare me for? She's slithering. Yes. Gives a shit. Kick her. Ah, Ariana, Georgina, and the makeover. Did you like this? I did. They shot this like a sitcom. Well, yes, they did. Multiple cameras, multiple shots, multiple edits. And so I don't know if the acting was any better, but if you didn't notice how bad it was because they said a line. And you they didn't? I didn't. Well, I sure did. Usually I notice it much more. You know what they should have added? A laugh track. <laughs> that might have taken it over the top. The No Quarter Catch crew offered money, apparently, to Tony D and the family. To murder Drew Gulak. Mm -hmm. The murder was carried out. Yes. So he's gone. I think so. He lost to Ilya Dragunov this week. Do not beat this man again. This is not New Japan with young lions, okay? This fucking guy is great. He's a new face. He's 19. Mm -hmm. He's fucking incredible. It was a good TV main event. The interference was stupid, and the match, much like this entire angle, felt very rushed. Nobody can tell me this wouldn't have been better. Championship match over Mania weekend. I will not hear otherwise. It's so patently obvious now. Mania match was no stips. Nothing. This match here was the same thing. There were no consequences. No. What happens if Trick loses? He still gets his title shot next week. Apparently, yes. I do think Trick wins next week. I think he's going to be champion. <laughs> 